Coming up on today's show, we take a look at why some businesses are short-staffed. And dive into a teacher spotlight. Stay tuned, you're watching Roar TV. Good morning, Oviedo. I'm Addison Armour. And I'm Kaylin Herbet. Today is Thursday, October 21st, 2021. Thank you to anyone who mentioned Oviedo High School while at Jeremiah's last night. We really appreciate all of the support. It's likely that over the past several months, you've seen signs posted about businesses looking in need of workers and being short-staffed. And it's a phenomenon happening around the globe. Economists have cited multiple reasons for this, including an aging workforce that's deciding to begin their retirement. And our school district is dealing with this issue in the form of a shortage of bus drivers. Here is a segment Kaylin created for the Student Television Network Challenge last week. Every day is a long day for the Seminole County Public Schools transportation dispatchers, playing one of the most important roles in the education of students in Central Florida. The bus drivers of Seminole County do not take their job lightly. But in the midst of an extreme labor shortage plaguing the nation, Seminole County is lacking around 30 bus drivers, making for a majorly unideal situation. And we've increased our ABO. ABO is, is, is average bus occupancy. So instead of an ABO, we might have 47, 48 elementary students. Now we might have 55 elementary students. It's usually packed. Every single seat is taken, two people per seat, and sometimes there's three. The value of the bus drivers in the public school system has significantly decreased, and their pay has done the same. Paid below the poverty line, the demanding job of being a bus driver is becoming increasingly unattractive to the workforce, as large companies will pay more for easier work. A lot of the, jo a lot of the jobs now, like a school bus driver's job, it's being paid um, less than the um, poverty line. So therefore, it's hard to get employees when you're not paying that much money. So now you're dealing with Amazon, which pays about $17, $18, $19, $19, and you're only paying $14. It's hard to compete with the public sector. The public school transportation dispatch has had to take some unfavorable measures to ensure that each student makes it to school, even at the expense of their office workers. Office staff has to drive now. Office staff has to dispatch. Office staff has to do driving duties, and then after they're done doing their driving duties, they have to come and do their duties. So now we're, we're having these um, employees work Saturday and Sunday just to meet the demand. And the lack of drivers that sit in these seats is having a huge impact on the people who sit in those seats. We're usually three minutes late after the bell is already rung, so we've already missed a part of the class. It causes a tumbling effect. If you're not there for class or you come in late for class, then we have to catch you up, and it just keeps happening over and over and over. Bus drivers are also extremely vital to many high school clubs and programs here in Central Florida. They are reliant on bus drivers to be available to drive them to outside activities, and the shortage of drivers has caused many hardships to the programs. We've gone from four buses to three buses just because they don't have enough bus drivers to uh, drive us there, so we've had a pack Pretty, pretty much pack the buses in order to go to games or uh, to, to competitions. A bus driver's importance to the community is undeniable, and now it's up to Central Florida to decide just how to get their buses and drivers back on track. For Roar TV, I'm Kaylin Herbet, reporting. So my name is Ben Langevin. I teach uh, Journalism 1, uh, Photography, and then I uh, advise our publications here, so our yearbook and newspaper staffs. Uh, I love my job. Uh, it's, it's a dream job for me. Uh, to help celebrate and honor the student stories that go here um, is just a career of a lifetime. Uh, we have so many amazing students that go to this school, um, and if I could play a small role in helping amplify those stories and, and honor those students, that would be amazing. Um, 
I like working with our student journalists so much. They're they're creative, they're intelligent. Nothing feels better than getting that final copy of whether it's the yearbook or the newspaper uh, and seeing those students' works come to fruition. It's just such a great feeling to have. Girls basketball tryouts will begin Monday, October 25th in the RWL gym from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. The tryouts will last all week. You must be cleared through the athletic department to participate. Please see Coach Bronga with any questions. The art club will be meeting after school Tuesday, October 26th in room 5022. Brain Bowl club dues are due by next practice, Tuesday the 26th. Please bring $20 cash or check to Miss Darlings. Dues cover our t-shirts and competition fees. If you're unable to attend, stop by her room 8-017 before then. The annual talent show auditions are today after school at 2.30 in the Commons. We hope to see all talented lions there. If you are interested in joining the City of Vito Fire Cadets, contact Fire Cadets at cityovavito.net for more information. There are multiple scholarships being given by the Oviedo Women's Club to Oviedo and Haggerty students who plan to pursue education in the fine arts. Scholarships are due Friday, October 22nd if you are interested. Next Spanish Club meeting will be held Tuesday, October 26th at 2.30 p.m. in room 13-010. This meeting is for all returning and potential new members. Join us for culture and conversation about all things related to the Spanish-speaking world. Dues are $20 for the year and include a club t-shirt. Students interested in joining Spanish Honor Society should also attend this meeting. This is the last opportunity to join Spanish Club and Spanish Honor Society this year. We hope to see you all at the Lake Mary game tomorrow. And remember, do not bring baby powder. That's all we have for you today, Oviedo. Have a great day and go Lions!